Okay, um, now uh, Yip Man's my great grandmaster. I'm third generation uh, student of Yip Man. And he related a story when he was asked you know, uh, about the history of Wing Chun, and he said it came from a woman, you know, a woman, uh, an abbess who, who uh, you know, formulated this art and taught to a woman called uh, Wing Chun. And today there are people who are disputing that. They're researching. Their research says that it didn't come from a woman, that it came from, all came from Shaolin Temple, and the name Wing Chun came, was a hall in Wing Chun. Now, of course, both, both of these records are not written. These are, you know, versions of uh, hearsay or, you know, oral history. So, the question is, you know, is it true or not? Well, I've, I believe that it is, uh, it is certainly uh, something that came from a, uh, women, a woman, because it is different, the whole mentality of, okay, the thought process in, in this uh, Wing Chun is very different from the other martial arts, okay? Uh, and this is why actually a lot of people are not good at this, okay? Uh, they've got this uh, male ma uh, mindset, and they're not able to shed that ego, okay? In fact, Yip Min became very good in this art as he got older. And he was a small frame person, and he... He got good when he actually started losing some of his uh, muscular mass and, of course, this, you know, this testosterone, this aggression that, you know, usually the males have. And um, the women, this part of the women, the whole, the stance, okay, they were called the Yichi Kim Yung Ma, where the, the leg, you know, the knees come in. It is not very manly, we know that, <laughs> okay, so, but, and in fact, the woman's body is already built that way. Okay, because of their uh, pelvis, they're, uh, proportionally they're, they're wider than men because of, you know, for the childbearing purposes. So, the knees actually, the, the thigh bones already verge inward and then go out. This is the natural uh, uh, anatomy of a woman, whereas uh, men are straighter. And same thing with the arm, okay. In Wing Chun, Tan Sao is one of the most important hands, and people don't use it right because they don't have the structure, or they couldn't you know, think of this usage. So people are planning this way, okay? But actually, when a woman plans, you see, uh, this is my male arm. It's straight here. A woman, when she straightens her arm, her elbow, just like her pelvis, the same thing, okay? Her her upper arm angles in and then goes out here. So she has a perfect coverage for her center line right here. I mean, she can strike a person and still be uh, protected. Whereas we have to bend our arms. She, a woman doesn't have to. And the whole fact about, you know, uh, women, how women deal with things. Men are very direct, a bit too direct. That's where we, we, you know, we end up with a foot in the mouth and we end up, you know, uh, trapping ourselves, getting in trouble. Because we go deal with problems directly, or, whereas women don't. Women have a way of going around things and still have the overhand. So, I truly believe it's a woman's art. And in fact, I started becoming better in Wing Chun when I took that thinking. Okay? It's of yielding, yielding much more being softer, yielding, okay, to find this soft force. In fact, you know, many uh, martial arts, you know, Tai Chi and all, talk about that. But men have a terrible time trying to master that, okay? And so, it's, it's an ego thing. The male, ha male have this ego where they cannot, you know, let go of this, to surrender. They just feel like if some force comes at them, they have to deal with it directly. So, the thing with in fact, all martial arts teach that. Use that opponent's weight, soften and yielding. Okay, there's a yin and yang. Okay, so in fact, in our bodies, we have, you know, our DNA, we have male and, fe uh, male and uh, female genes. And it's to bring up the female genes. And that's going to actually enhance your Wing Chun. And so I truly believe it's a woman's art.